Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you so much for joining me and look what I got on my Architect shirt, which means we have hit another milestone. So I'm here to give you guys a channel update number 10. And of course, as always, a thank you to my subscribers and viewers, you guys out there who keep this channel going. I really do appreciate it. So I created this channel just about two and a half years ago at this point, October 2019. Since then, I've uploaded over 850 videos, hopefully all to the pleasure of you guys out there watching this. And it uh, covers all kinds of things. I've got album reviews and unboxing unboxings, uh, box set reviews and unboxings, of course, album release schedule, uh, various discussion topics on here, special show editions, how-to videos, top 10 countdowns, album rankings, music collection videos, record store experience videos, and just a whole bunch of other stuff thrown in there. So hopefully you can find some good stuff in there that you enjoy. And, um, you know, you guys have been watching these videos to the tune of over 100,000 views each month for quite a while now. So I'm again, really, really grateful for that. Uh, thank you all for it. And now I've hit the next milestone, 9,000 subscribers. I'm almost there with my big goal of 10,000. We should be there in a couple months. Looking forward to that. Uh, but thank you again for being a part of this. And so of course, you know, everything that's happening on this channel, all these milestones, all this sort of stuff, it's all thankful to you, the viewers and subscribers who make all of this possible and what I consider this to be, you know, a little music community that we've got here, a little sub community to all the other bigger ones that are going on. But, you know, in this little space, this channel here, you know, it's where all kinds of people can come together that love music. And, you know, we can share opinions, whether we agree or disagree on those topics, we can still respect one another because we are all just music fans here enjoying ourselves. And, you know, if we can all sort of keep that in mind as we're doing this, this will make for a wonderful community for everyone to be a part of. And I certainly hope we can keep doing that. We've all been having a lot of fun. I know I am. Hopefully you guys are too with this. And so um, as a reminder, you know, there is a channel schedule that happens on here with those videos that I'm posting. And um, Mondays is What's That You're Listening To, where I break down all the stuff I've been listening to in the past week, hopefully sparking some new listening ideas for you. Wednesdays is New Music Finds, and that's where I gather up everything that I've bought during the past week and present it to you, break it down, give you a little small review of those albums or things that I bought. And Friday is my favorite episode, uh, Music News Roundup, where I corral and bring together all the best news from the past week into one place, making it easy for everyone to digest and enjoy. Uh, that way you don't have to try to piecemeal it all week long. And certainly check back uh, you know, weekly for those episodes of your favorite shows and so forth. But I get a lot of comments from people about how hard it is to keep up with new music releases. So I wanted to point out, because I try to in the comments and stuff, that new music or music news roundup has an album release schedule segment in it every week. So if you want watch Music News Roundup, you're going to be in pretty good shape with that. But if you don't watch that, that show's not for you. That's okay. I've got Album Release Schedule, which is a monthly series that I do. Last week of every month, I post a list of all the upcoming um, releases, album releases for the month of head. So uh, certainly two ways to get all your releases and things and stay up on it because it's a little harder these days. You know, everything's just dropping out there and not always sure, you know, what's what and you miss things and so forth. And I certainly do at different times. That's also a good reason to check in on, um, on new music finds because within that there's things that I find that I didn't know was out so I couldn't even announce it but I talk about it in my uh, weekly episode of that. So anyway, there's some other ways for you guys to stay on top of stuff. And uh, certainly as always, I'm working on new ideas. I'm always trying to keep things interesting here. I don't like to replicate too many of the same type of video. Um, so I've got some more experience type videos that I'm working on things other than record store experiences, hopefully for some concerts that I have upcoming. I don't know how that's going to go. You never know whether they're going to let you film or not film uh, in those places. So we'll have to wait and see on that. I was also thinking about potentially doing a uh, historic music sites around New York City kind of a thing. There's a lot of cool things like the Led Zeppelin uh, physical graffiti building that's in New York and um, different uh, Fillmore East uh, locations, stuff like that. So I thought it might be kind of fun and we'll see uh, whether those kind of things pan out 
or turn into something. A lot of these I have to start filming and doing, and then we kind of see whether or not it uh, turns into something worth posting. But I'm working on some ideas. I got some stuff there. I'm also thinking about a new type of show that's more stream of consciousness, off the cuff sort of stuff that covers music news, what I'm currently playing literally right in that moment, and just sort of personal opinions on all that sort of stuff and whatever's going on within the, the music industry at that time, or my thoughts. You know, I've always got comments about Amazon, lack of packaging, and uh, things that are going on that are being talked about within music news and so forth. So I'm trying to find a way that we can do that that would keep it interesting for both you and me. So I'm working on something there. I was thinking a title for it might be something like Music on the Brain. We'll wait and see. And as always, um, certainly I'm open to your ideas. Whatever you might uh, think would make for a good show, certainly let me know. I'm always open to that. But since we've hit that next milestone of 9,000 subscribers, can't believe we're there already. Super excited for it. It is time for the next Q&A, number seven, in fact. So go ahead and leave your questions for the Q&A, the question and answer, in the comments. And feel free to ask anything you desire within reason. I will answer it. Um, questions usually break down into three categories. We get music related, channel related, and personal related. So uh, let me know what you're interested in and I'll certainly try to answer it. Uh, a few questions that I get asked all the time. I'm gonna answer them here so they don't get to duplicate it and stuff. And since this is, uh, question and answer number uh, seven, I think it is. Maybe it's number eight. Um, there are other ones that we have done before this, so uh, lots of those questions are within that. But um, one of the questions that I get asked all the time is, how do you keep track of your music collection? Is it cataloged? And so um, it is in a degree, the sense that things are alphabetized and they're in boxes and so forth, and I keep it that way. But there is no list. I do not have an Excel spreadsheet or anything to that nature. Uh, it is all just kept up here in my head. So of course, the next question I always get asked is, have you ever duplicated a CD that you already own? And yes, I have, not very often, a handful of times, five, six, seven times, maybe kind of a thing over the life of uh, now 33 years I've been collecting since 1989. And uh, one of those in particular was Tesla Psychotic Supper. Thought I did not own it. Thought it was uh, like back home, Florida with my mom or something. Turned out I did have it here with me in New York. So that one was an innocent one. I bought a Scorpions one for, um, uh, I think it was uh, Tokyo Tapes or one of the other ones. And... Um, it had an alternate album cover on it, so I thought I didn't own it because I was looking at the cover and didn't remember owning that cover. Turns out I did own it, it just was an alternate cover, so not a bad thing to duplicate on and get that. Um, and then um, I ended up buying a Shania Twain disc uh, twice. I uh, didn't realize that I'd already picked it up. I'm not a big country fan, so I probably picked it up for a dollar here or there, put it away, waiting to get into it kind of a thing. Later on, when I was actually in the mood for that, I found it, didn't realize I had it duplicated. So it does happen occasionally, but it has been fairly few the number of times that it's happened. And one of the other things that I get asked a lot of is how often do I listen to music? And I listen to music all day long. I mean, I wake up, I listen to it. I listen to it as I'm getting ready for things. I listen to it on my commute to work. I listen to it while I'm at work whenever I have the opportunity to commute home when I get home. I even like falling asleep to music. So music is a really big part of my life. And of course, that's why I'm here doing this channel, helping to uh, share that love and passion that I have for music with you all. And so uh, there you go. All right, everyone, uh, have at it. Leave me your questions. And um, if it's something I'm not going to answer in the question and answer session, I will answer the question on the spot for you. Otherwise, I'll thank you for it and I will record it. And then in a few days time, I will compile it all and we'll try and drop this uh, question and answer session sometime uh, this coming weekend. So, all right, everyone, thanks so much. I really do appreciate you being a part of this and helping me achieve the next goal of 9,000 subscribers and over 100,000 views every month. I do appreciate it. All right, everyone, take care. Have a great one. I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye-bye, guys.